Hey everyone, Frankenstein Gaming coming at you with a new video. Today we are checking out Neon City Riders by Mecha Studios. And right off the bat, look at this opening screen, the main menu screen. Music's amazing. The synth wave's great. I love the art style. Wow, just off the bat, it's so nice. And it's from this indie developer, so it's just even cooler to see. Um, it's a post apocalyptic cyberpunk world in a decaying city. And. One player came out March 12, 2020 for 451 megabytes in size, and I believe the price itself is not showing up. Okay, I will get that for you guys before the end of the video. Um, there's an open-ended progression system, lots of optional side quests. You have 80s pop culture and video game uh, console references from what I see in both uh, graphics and sounds as well. Uh, deep and fast-paced combat based on unlock unlockable super abilities, which is also really cool to see. Again, love the art style. This is what the uh, tile looks like. Pretty cool tile overall, to be honest with you guys. And we're going to dive into the game, check it out. I'm going to give you my first impressions, and let's see what the game is all about. All right, so here we are. Uh, the game is priced at $19.99 USD. Sorry, I had to look that up. Uh, and as I said, it's released. So if you like this video, make sure to go out and buy it. Again, thanks again to Mecha Studios for the review code. And we're just gonna we're just gonna dive right in. I just want to see if there's any settings. No, there isn't. So new game, new file, and let's let's start it up. Even in the turf wars, the gangs need a place to relax and trade stuff. But yeah, right off the bat, like the art style was great. The retros like 80-ish synth wave style was cool uh i'm excited to see more of what this has to offer to be honest with you from what i've seen in the screenshots it's really cool it's like very top down evergrey can you hear me kid kiddo looks like everything worked just fine you are inside the vr simulation i created as i told you we need to practice before the real thing the super powered gangs that are destroying neon city are a serious matter so before we fight them we need to make sure you unlock your full potential you see Everyone has inner powers hidden deep inside. And I can sense greatness in you, kiddo. All you need is a little push for you to take that leap. I believe in destiny, and I know there's a reason why we ended up partnering together. Trust me, kiddo. And at the same time, trust in yourself. I'll be right here to support you. Now go and prove yourself you are ready to save Neon City. Meet me here when you unlock your four abilities. Wow, look at this art style. I love the color scheme. We have the pipe to like hit people with. We got a cool mask on. That's dope. Um, I'm not really sure too much of where to go. Oh, apparently I died and killed myself by accident. That opened that pathway. I guess we'll run through here. Tried to like run through really quick, that didn't work. Hey Rick, nice to see you. Of course it's just part of the simulation, but listen. It'd be totally okay to hurt you hurt to get hurt in your journey. And when you do remember, you can recover your health by consuming food. It doesn't even matter what you eat or drink as long as you fill your belly. You can buy all kinds of delicacies around Neon City. Check other food sellers and vending machines. Back in reality, you must pay for your food. You can get money by defeating enemies and cutting high grass. Since this is a simulation, I'll give you ramen for free. One more thing, this is an important one. Eat eating while well, will take a little while, so be sure to stay away from danger. Here, give it a try. Oh, okay, there we go. So you press the L button there. Whoa, Space Invaders. That's so cool that it has that as a reference. You see that bottom right? It looks like it was saving. Oh, man, I love this. Even when they die, it has, like, an old-school video game-esque. Oh, dodge him. Dodge him. Game feels really smooth, honestly. I like how it shows you where they're gonna attack. That was pretty cool. Spicy ramen bowl, hey. Burger, pizza slice, 
uh, cola soda, sparkling water. Wow, there is a lot of different things going on in this game. What is that? After picking up that pen, you can feel the cool and fierce spirit of freedom running through you. The skull dash allows you to move faster to avoid attacks and destroy some wooden objects. Remember that each use will drain your mana. How do I use it? I'll be. You're doing great. This new ability will be very useful in our mission. Keep it up, kiddo. Go this way this time. Oh no, it crushed me! I thought I had that. Wow, it hit me again? Really? Okay. I like that there's puzzles in the game. Not doing that great on my first look here. See, the problem is I'm trying to go too fast, I think. Oh, I think we found another one. Another power-up. After picking up that fin pin, you feel the strength and patience for spirit and spirit of resilience running through you. Tempered armor allows you to move to avoid any damage during a short period of time and parry some attacks if time's right. Remember, each use will drain your mana. Good to know. Not sure how to use that. I like the art style and music a ton. Oh, hey. Oh, that's neat. Okay, it's very temporary. Indeed. Oh, you can use both at the same time. Did not realize that. All right, we're back here now. We got two done. Uh, I don't know if there's others. I'm assuming there are on the other side or something like that. Let's go down here. So this is obviously, like, essentially a tutorial. No way. It timed where I was going to run to? That's crazy. That was probably not a great time to heal. Huh. How do I... How am I going to unlock that thing? If you get stuck in a room, try exploring a different area instead. Okay. I guess so that means there's probably like a key or something in here that I missed. Oh, man. How are you supposed to jump that? Alright, so we went a different way and got this, this key here. After picking up the pin, you feel the warm and pr bright spirit of optimism. The Echo Strike allows you to reflect some projectiles and give them a new direction. Remember, each use will drain your mana. Wow, okay. Oh, so we definitely needed this for the last room. Good to know. We need to buy food. Bought a burger. Eat that. Save. Do you have they have save points with the punching bags as well, which is nice. It's a nice touch. Hey, we did it. Look at that. And now the gate is open, we get the final pin. The vibrations when you unlock the pin is crazy on the controller. I'm playing with a pro controller. After picking up the pin, you can feel the willing and wise of 
receptivity running through you. Each time you see the color changing mark, the underfield will allow you to see and use things hidden to the naked eye. Remember to use that using it will drain your mana. Oh, let's see. There's one over here. How do we use it? Ah, you press R. I still don't know how to access it though. But still cool cool nonetheless. Oh, you can use it as a path. Oh, look at that. That was cool. All right, good to know. We should have all of these so we can talk to this guy now. Nice work. I knew you had it in you. Your awakened abilities, you can match the super-powered gang's level. Now go to the north room to face your final test and exit this VR simulation. See you at the other side, kid. This is the north room? Or does it mean here? Yeah, it means here. All right, let's see what the final one is about. All right, we're ready to face the boss, or one of the first bosses. That was a nice dodge, honestly. Ah, so much to dodge! Wow. So I beat the boss. That was creepy. And then all of a sudden, this happened. Um, I didn't get the recording of it, sadly. Me beating him, but it started with this. Hello, Rick. How's your VR practice going? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not part of your stupid game. Even in this simulation, I'm as real as it gets, boy. Word on the street is that you and your disgusting and that disgusting old man want to defeat the four gangs. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Such a shame I can't get rid of you in this simulation, but guess what? I do have the power to take your new abilities away from you forever. Let's see if you can manage now. Without your superpowers, you are nothing, boy. You are not worthy of Neon City. This people and their lands are mine. Have a nice awakening, sucker. Wow, we lost all of our stuff again. You're short in cash. I need to recover your health. You can always take a nap at the hideout. Good to know. Wow, Kettle, okay, take it easy. I'm glad you're awake. How do you feel? I was very worried. Something went wrong with the simulation. A virus damaged the software and overloaded the VR. I have no idea how this happened, but not worry. The important thing is that you are well and you completed your training. I want, to, want would like you to rest and chill, but there's not enough time for that. The superpowered gangs keep fighting each other and destroying what's left. We need to hurry and defeat their turf leaders. And the good news are, we have a secret weapon. With your brand new abilities, we have a huge advantage. What? You lost your superpowers? Shadow inside the simulation? That's impossible. It does sound weird, but we have seen stranger things in the city. I believe you. For now, the best we can do is explore the four turfs in search of clues. Meanwhile, I know I'm not that strong and I might feel useless, but I'll get ahead and try to find more information. I believe in you. You have a great potential and I'm willing to do anything to help you. I trust justice will prevail and this nightmare will be over soon. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this old device. I'm sure it'll help you in your quest. Press the plus button on it and we'll show you a list of your items, map, journal, and more. See you around. 
Oh, okay. So I think with that we're gonna end. Um, I really, I really did enjoy this game. Again, this is Neon City Riders for the Nintendo Switch. Again, look at that menu screen. Great. Uh, thank you again, Mecha Studios, for the review code, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to follow me on Twitter at fstein underscore gaming and on Twitch at frankenstein underscore gaming. Make sure to check out my podcast, Respawner X, as well. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later, Monster Squad.